<clears throat> How happy are you just start to finish this series the way your team played? Yeah, I mean, we played extremely well. Uh, you know, we came out today and, and got right back after him and made, uh, you know, three or four really good defensive plays. And, and I think that's what really stood out. Yeah, how, how did the defense basically save the game for you today? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we turned the double plays. We had uh, the throw Reynolds made, the play Key made with Chavis going, up, you know, on the back side of it. So just, I mean, we played really well and you have to play really well you know, to beat a team of this caliber, and and we played we played extremely well. What kind of defensive awareness did Castillo show on that play to throw to Hayes at third? Yeah, I mean that was a hell of a play too. I mean to go backside and for Key to be there uh, on a hard hit ball because you know you're taught anything behind you you should you should vacate. And Diego made a really nice play. There's a lot of guys that you can highlight individually over the course of this game, but you know DeYoung and Stratton finding themselves in exact situations, second and third, one out, just. What can you say about them being able to get out of both of those situations? Yeah, I mean, we got out of big jams, uh, you know, and I give Chase a ton of credit. I don't think he had pitched in seven days to come in in, in you know, this environment and to be able to execute. And he got through, you know, both the Turners there, which was crucial for us. And then Strat, I mean, second day in a row, four or five, uh, you know, to be able to come, come in, get the one pitch, and then, uh, you know, to go back out and, and execute. Uh, he threw the ball really well the last two days. The, the the bunt sign for Castillo, was that still on when he hit the homer? Castro? Yes. Uh, no, no, we had taken it off. Shelter, we can finally shut up about the sweep stuff. How good <laughs> is it to get that monkey off the bat? Yeah, I mean, it's good. I mean, we, we played really well, uh, you know, throughout. When we, we had to play well, you have to play well to, to beat, you know, the Dodgers. And uh, I'm really proud of our group because, I mean, we're running out a really young group of players, a uh, bunch of rookies, and to come into this environment and to do that, it's pretty special. Reynolds talked the other day about, um, I think it was like free and easy or something, or less is more. I forget his mentality, but does he look to you like he's kind of turning the corner? Yeah, you know, I mean, looking like Brian. He, I mean, he looks, he's starting to look more like himself. And, and I think free and easy is a good way because I think when Brian goes through times when he struggles, he tries to force things and do too much. We've talked about him, you know, maybe being over aggressive at the plate. It looks like he's just letting the game come to him. And he's so talented that when it comes to him, you know, he really has good at bats. Did you think that Lux was going to test Reynolds there? Because Reynolds' momentum was bringing him all the way in. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a play that you know, it has to be a bang bang play. It has to be. I mean, it's a catch, throw, catch, and a tag situation. And I thought it was. I thought it was just overall a good baseball play. I think you know a guy with Gavin speed, you're going to run there. I think it's a good call. And Brian just made a nice throw. When uh, Quintana exited the game, we saw you having a conversation with him. both of you guys have been around a while. Can you let, tell us, let us into anything on what that discussion was? Yeah, he was frustrated that he walked Pilar to lead off that inning. And, you know, I think today, the one thing I said, you know, we had, he didn't really have one of his weapons. The curveball wasn't as sharp as it has been. And I just told him he gave us a chance to win the game. And, you know, there's certain times we've talked about situationally where we're going to pick the right situation. And that was the time, you know, obviously he didn't want to come out of the game. He understood. But he, I think he was more frustrated himself for the Pilar walk. Schulte, the Hayes and Chavis, Chavis play, is there anything you can practice there, or is that just improv by two heads of players? No, it was just, I mean, I think you get a guy that, that plays first base that throws better than a lot of first basemen because, you know, he's played in other parts of the diamond. Uh, so for Key to make the play and then Chavis to be aware because, you know, Chris didn't pause. I mean, it was a good baseball play, and it, it had to be a perfect throw on the backside for Key to get back and pick it.